Who's the cutest robot? Robbie is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Robbie's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. Look, someone just climbed the tree. Do you know who it was? That's a monkey, Roby. Look at him climb. You can fly, Roby. You don't need to climb like the monkeys. Monkeys come in all different colors and sizes. Some monkeys are brown. Some are black and white. And some have red heads. Look at this one. Monkeys look a lot like us. They have eyes, a mouth, and a cute little nose. They can hold their food just like us and even stand up. <laughs> I don't think you want to eat that, Roby. Monkeys love fruit, too. Monkeys also love to eat leaves and pods that fell off the trees. And monkeys have something we don't. That's right, a tail. The tail helps them balance themselves and climb trees. <laughs> you should practice, Roby. They're really experts when it comes to climbing. Even baby monkeys can climb really well. Look, Roby. These little guys sure love to play, just like in kindergarten. You want to play too, Roby? Maybe another time. Just like us, the monkeys love to be with their families. Together they play, relax, eat, and have lots of fun. Look at this baby monkey. He's so small. He just loves being close to his mommy where he feels safe. Looks like fun, right? See the hair this monkey has on his body? It's fur. All monkeys have it. It keeps them warm and protects them. Just like clothes. And what about cleaning? They clean each other and take out all the dirt from the fur like this. Monkeys love to have company. That's why they all eat at the same time. You better hurry, Roby, if you want to catch up with the monkeys. Bye-bye, Roby. See you soon. Are? Let me give you a clue. It's milk. And do you know where the milk comes from? A cow. You're right. And these are the cows. Do you know what that sound is, Roby? That's the sound a cow makes. Moo. That's how cows talk to each other. Cows are big, aren't they, Roby? And all cows eat is grass and hay. 
Yup, just grass and hay. But they eat a lot of grass and hay. Wanna see where cows like to hang out? So let's get a move on. In the open fields, eating yummy grass. That's where cows hang out with their friends. Are you hungry too, Roby? Grass is for cows, Roby, not us. What are you doing, Roby? That's funny. <laughs> You're changing into the different colors of the cows. Some cows are white, some are brown, and some are black and white. Aw, that's so cute. This is a little baby cow. Baby cows are called calves. When calves are really little, their mommies feed them lots of milk. Are you thirsty for some milk now? That was quick. You drink it all up. Those are horns, Roby. Some cows have short horns. Yes, just like that. But some cows have very, very big horns. Yes, just like that. Whoa, slow down, Roby. These cows are trying to get some rest. And it looks like you need some rest too, Roby. Bye, cows. Bye, Roby. Let me introduce you to your new friend, a giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. Even zebras look itty bitty next to giraffes. That's right, Roby. Giraffes have long legs and long necks. Being tall helps giraffes reach all the way to the top of tall trees to get their favorite food. Silly Roby. You can't do that. Only giraffes can. That's how they get to eat their favorite food, leaves on top of the trees. And since no other animals are as tall, giraffes get to eat all the leaves they want. Giraffes even have long tongues that help them lick the leaves right off the trees. Imagine a giraffe licking your face like that, Roby. Sometimes being tall isn't so great. When there are no tall trees around for giraffes to get their leaves, they have to eat something else. Do you know what they eat instead? Grass. Giraffes have to bend their long necks all the way down to the ground to eat the grass. And that can be a pain in the neck. <laughs> Do you know what's even harder for giraffes than eating grass? drinking from a pond. They have to bend their long legs to do that. It takes a lot of work. Just watch. Look at this baby giraffe. Yeah, this is a baby giraffe next to his mom. He sure is big for a baby. Baby giraffes are called calves, and they're this big when they're born. Bigger than most grown-ups. And just like babies, Calves love drinking milk from their mommies. Giraffes are really nice, too. They love spending time with their family and friends, having fun together. Would you like to be friends with the giraffes? Okay, Roby. I think they like you, too. Are you ready to see something really awesome, Roby? Every giraffe has its own special spots. Yeah, check it out. No two spots are the same. Every giraffe is unique, just like you, Roby. 
Unique means that you're special and there's no one in the world like you. Of course you're unique, Roby. And I'm lucky to have a special friend like you. Time to say bye-bye to the giraffes. Robbie? Yes, all this water is called an ocean. Do you want to see something really awesome? These beautiful creatures are called fish. They come in so many different colors, sizes, and shapes. These are fish. This is a fish. Even these are fish. <laughs> yes, fish are cool, Robbie. Look, there are a lot of fish. When fish swim together, it's called a school of fish. Look out for that big fish, little friends. That's a lionfish, Robbie. Fish has two eyes, just like us. Count them out with me. One and two. And look, that fish has a mouth, too. Fish eat all kinds of things, Robbie. This one likes to eat rocks for breakfast. Yes, rocks. But you and I will stick with cereal and fruit for our breakfast. <laughs> And do you know how fish breathe? Let's go and ask. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Fish. Can you show me how you breathe underwater? Fish have gills to help them breathe. Take a look. Oh, I forgot to tell you something extra cool about fish. You see how this fish moves so smoothly through the water? That's because fish have fins and tails to help them swim fast. Do you want to have a race with the fish, Robbie? Okay, let's go. Ready, set, go. And they're off. And it's Mr. Fish by a nose, gills, and a tail. Good try, Robbie. Are you tired from the race, Robbie? You're not the only sleepy one in this ocean. Take a look. You see, even though their eyes are open, they're actually sleeping. It's how fish sleep. I think it's time for us to get to bed too, Robbie. Say goodnight to all our new fish friends. <laughs> the cutest robot. Robbie is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Robbie's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. flies like a bird, but it's not a bird. It's colorful. It's a butterfly. Butterflies are insects that 
come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. And butterflies have four wings. Yes, but they're very small, so it looks like they only have two wings. That's how they fly so beautifully. <laughs> you don't need wings, Rosie. You fly beautifully without them. Do you want to know something even more incredible about butterflies? Then get ready for this. It doesn't look like it, but these are butterflies too. That's right. Butterflies start their lives as caterpillars, with no wings at all. After a little while, a caterpillar will go into a cocoon. See, a cocoon is like a big fluffy blanket that helps the caterpillar sleep. And you're not gonna believe what happens next. When the caterpillar comes out of the cocoon, it's turned into a butterfly. But it needs to stretch its wings first before it can fly. So when it's ready, the butterfly will unfold its wings and fly high into the air. All that flying makes butterflies hungry. Do you know what they like to eat? Sweet nectar from flowers. They fly from flower to flower, collecting as much nectar as they can get. You see those two long things on top of its head? Those are called antennae. Antennae help the butterflies find flowers with nectar. But butterflies don't have mouths. So how do they eat the nectar? I'll show you. Other than the antennae, the butterfly has this long tube on its head that's used like a straw to suck up all the nectar from the flower. <laughs> Sweet, isn't it? I think it's time for the butterflies to go find some more food. And it's time for us to head home. Say bye-bye to the butterflies, Roby. Bye-bye, butterflies. And bye-bye, Roby. Creatures are called ducks, and they're just about to get up and start their day. Look, Mr. Duck is up now and ready to play. Ducks come in many different colors. There's a brown one, and a black one, and... Yes, this one even has some green on him. Look how beautiful he is. It must be great fun being a duck, spending all your time in big groups with friends and family. These big groups are called flocks. You're very funny, Roby. You just made a flock of Robies. And when they're together, they love doing fun things. Like swimming. Ducks aren't just fast swimmers, they're fast flyers too. Watch. Good job, Roby. You won. Look, this is a baby duck. And baby ducks are called ducklings and hatch from an egg. Baby ducks learn how to swim soon after they hatch. They just hop in the water and follow their mommy. And if the ducklings swim too far away, the mommy duck just quacks to get them back. That's right, Roby. Ducks talk to each other by quacking. Check out their funny feet. Did you ever see anything like it? Yeah, ducks have special feet that help them paddle underwater. 
Ducks can stay in the water as long as they want because their feathers are waterproof. See how they take good care of their feathers? Those are some fancy feathers, Roby. You look great. Dinner time, duckies. Those are beaks, Roby. Like all birds, ducks too have beaks to help them eat seeds and drink. Good job, Roby. Even though you don't have a beak, you can eat just like a duck. This is funny. The ducks are looking for food underwater. They can do that too. You may look like a duck and quack like a duck, but you're still not a duck, Roby. Ducks love to fly. That's how they travel from one place to another, just like you. Bye-bye, ducks. Bye-bye, Roby. I see you've met a kitty cat, Roby. A cat's favorite thing to do is play, just like you, Roby. We don't have time to play now. There are so many cats for us to meet. Yes, there are lots of different kinds of cats all over the world. Some cats live in the wild. They live in fields like this. And some cats even live in the desert. Don't be scared, Roby. This cat is a cheetah. And it's really, really big. Cheetahs have lots of spots and can run really fast. Go, Roby, go! Looks like all this running has made you sleepy, Roby. Cats love to sleep, too. They can nap for over 15 hours a day. Wake up, Roby. There's so much more to see. Here's a happy kitty family. This mama is feeding her kittens breakfast. When a kitten grows up, it uses its tongue to lick yummy milk. Bon appetit, Roby. And this is how cats get clean. They use their long tongues to clean themselves and keep their fur fluffy and shiny. They have to keep their fur healthy and clean because it protects them and keeps them warm. That's right, Roby. Just like how we wear hats. Did you hear that, Roby? That's a cat meow. Cats talk to each other with meows all the time. Wow, that's a great meow, Roby. Are you sure you're not part cat? <laughs> hey, look at this kitty. It just opened the door. Cats are great at jumping and climbing. They can climb up to really high places. And they use their long tails to help them balance so they don't fall over. You know, Roby, I think you look good with a tail. A cat's tail can also tell us if it's happy or sad. And here's a happy kitty. And a happy Roby. Hey, it's nighttime, but cats don't mind. They have good eyesight that helps them see in the dark. Which is very useful because some cats only go out at night. But not us, Roby. When it gets dark out, we need to go to bed. So let's go to bed and say bye. Good night, Roby. Be careful, Roby. Don't be scared, Roby. This is just a dog, and he's wagging his tail from side to side because he's happy. Are you happy now too, Roby? Most dogs love people. Some say that a dog can be your best friend. 
Look at all these dogs, Roby. They come in so many different shapes, sizes, and colors. There are small dogs and big dogs like this. Some dogs have really short hair. And some have really long hair like this. Poor Shaggy Dog can't see because he has so much hair covering his eyes. Even though dogs look so different, they're also a lot alike. Dogs have a very good sense of smell. They use their noses to find things they need. Like food. Dogs love to eat. And eat. And eat. All that eating makes dogs thirsty. Dogs have big tongues they use to get the water into their mouths. Good idea, Roby. You can use a straw to drink. Dogs also have super hearing. See, Roby? The dog can hear you from all the way over there. That's a dog barking. Barking is a dog's way of talking. <laughs> Good try, Roby, but I think we should leave the barking to dogs. Dogs are also super friendly. Look how happy this one is to see you. And remember how we know when dogs are happy? That's right, Roby, they wag their tails from side to side. And what makes dogs really happy is playing. They love to play with each other and with people. Yeah, and with Robies, too. Look at these baby dogs, Roby. Aren't they cute? Do you know what baby dogs are called, Roby? They're called puppies. And like little babies, they love to play. And also like babies, puppies spend most of their time with their mommies. Their mommy gives them lots of milk so they can become big and strong. After a long day of playing, it looks like this dog needs some rest. And you need some rest too. There you go, Roby. Have a good night. <laughs> the cutest robot. Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. Where's everybody running to? This funny animal is a chicken, Roby. And these are her little chicks. Chickens live together in groups with their family and friends. That red thing on their heads looks pretty funny, doesn't it, Roby? It's called a comb. That comb is too big for you, Roby. Look out! Roby, are you okay? Combs help us tell male chickens and female chickens apart. I'll show you. Male chickens are called roosters, and they have big combs and really long tails. Female chickens are called hens and have smaller combs and shorter tails. That's how we tell them apart. Wow, did you hear that sound, Roby? That's the rooster crowing. Roosters make loud noises like this to let the other chickens know it's time to start the day. Like an alarm clock. That's a good crow, Roby. 
You're just like a rooster. Do you know what this hen is doing? She's laid eggs and she's sitting on them. And look what comes out of the eggs. A little chick. When chicks come out of eggs, it's called hatching. Even though the chicks have hatched, they enjoy staying underneath their mom where it's comfy and cozy. I don't think there's room for you underneath this chicken, Roby. Sorry. And when they grow up a little, chicks follow their mommy everywhere she goes. Do you know where they're going now? To eat lunch. Their favorite food is seeds. The seeds are for the chickens, Roby. Chickens don't have hands like us, so they use their strong beaks to eat. <laughs> Roby, you don't have a beak. All chickens are covered with feathers, Roby, and they come in many different colors like brown, white, and black. Feathers protect the chickens and keep them warm. That's right, Roby, just like a woolen hat. It's okay, Roby. The roosters are only playing. But don't get in their way. Their beaks are sharp. You want to play with the chickens some more, Roby? Okay, you can play for a few more minutes.